Welcome back to Daily Devotions from Mount Calvary Lutheran Church. My name is Pastor Andrew Howe, and it's a joy to be here with you. Verse 5 of O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. O come, O key of David, come and open wide our heavenly home. Make safe for us the heavenward road, and bar the road to death's abode. Re rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. Today we're going to take a look at a, a different prophet, the prophet Micah. Micah was present uh, in Israel at the time of uh, the prophet Isaiah. Not as well known or had, much, had as much to say from God. He had less to say, so we would call him one of the minor prophets. Isaiah being a major prophet because of the length of his book. He and Jeremiah uh, had much longer uh, prophecies and messages uh, to Israel. But he was from the same time, time frame as, as the prophet Isaiah. Here is what Micah chapter 5 says. Now muster your troops, O daughter of troops. Siege is laid against us. With a rod they, they strike the judge of Israel. On the cheek. Micah is reminiscing there of Israel's judgment coming from uh, first uh, the Assyrians, then the Babylonians, and then finally Cyrus the Persian would take over. The judgment of Israel is consequence of Israel's sin. But yet that is the law, that is the judgment, that is God's uh, response to what he desired from his people. But listen to what verses 2 through 5 say. But you, O Bethlehem Ephrathah, you who are too little to be among the clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me one who is to be ruler in Israel, whose coming forth is from of old, from ancient days. So you see there the Micah 5 verse 2, where Bethlehem Ephrathah, it's so tiny, the little town of Bethlehem, as the Christmas hymn says, but Bethlehem is so small, it has to be known by the region of Ephrathah. And Micah lived about 18 miles away from this area. Literally just a few hundred people were present in, that, in the days of Israel uh, before they were in exile, lived in Bethlehem Ephrathah. They had to give a region to let people know where this place was. But did you notice what was said, what was prophesied there? That someone is going to come from that. It's, it's interesting because that's the birthplace of David, but be, would become also the birthplace of our Lord. Jesus comes from Bethlehem. Mary and Joseph end up having baby Jesus in Bethlehem. But Micah's not done there. Verse 3, Therefore he shall give them up until the time when she who is in labor has given birth. Then the rest of his brothers shall return to the people of Israel. Micah is talking very spiritual right here. Obviously we know that Mary would give birth and would be in labor in Bethlehem. But then the point of Jesus coming is that Israel shall return to the Lord. You know, we come to the Lord because of Christ. Little town of Bethlehem hosts the birth of Jesus Christ so that the believers in God Almighty might be reunited with our Heavenly Father through the key, through the key of David, as the hymn says. The key of David, Jesus Christ, brings us back to our Heavenly Father. And this is what Jesus is going to do in verse 4. And he shall stand and shepherd his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God, and they shall dwell secure. For now he shall be great to the ends of the earth. And listen what verse 5 says. He shall be their peace. So Advent greetings to you from these wonderful prophets, the prophets of Christ's birth, the prophets that Jesus would fulfill and be our great shepherd and be our good shepherd who would come to lead the flock of Israel. We are Israel because of the Holy Spirit granted faith, a gracious faith granted in, 
in our baptism. We are now people of God's covenant, signed, sealed, and delivered through the King of kings and the Lord of lords and the King of peace, Jesus Christ. He is our shepherd. What wonderful words from the prophet Micah pointing us to no one else but the key of David. O come, O come, Emmanuel. He is our king. So reflect on that today as you live out your day as God's people who's been shepherded by the, the peaceful shepherd. As the psalmist would say, leads you beside quiet waters and stills your soul. Find peace in the Lord Jesus Christ who came from a little town of Bethlehem. Would you pray with me today? Lord God, Heavenly Father, we, we know that uh, you humbly came from Bethlehem. You were born into this world in Bethlehem. You were born so that uh, you might shepherd your people, so that you would lay down your life for your sheep, so that your hands and side would be pierced for our transgressions. You take the judgment that we were supposed to get, and you took it upon your shoulders. And we thank you for being our peace. Have a blessed day in the Lord Jesus Christ, knowing he is your shepherd who was born in Bethlehem. Oh, come, oh, come.